man here? Can you stand up, brother? When I do like this, I see a light there. This man, yes. I think I've prayed for you, this man. Yes, you have, daddy. Because when I do like this, I see a light there. Yes, you do. You have, daddy. Yeah, brother, I've prayed for you. you your eyes be, were open, eh? Yes, sir. Uh, are you prophesying now? 100%, sir. Uh, I prayed for you, your eyes were open. Yes, you did, daddy. Mm. Come here. Where's your wife? No. Where's your wife? She's at work, sir. Come. Can you just go and turn there? Go and turn there. You know, a person like me, when I go and turn there, don't concentrate on working. Concentrate in prayer. Come back. Because I want God to show you something. Go and turn there. In your heart, pray. Stop there. Yes. So, give him a mic. What is it that you saw? Hallelujah. You prayed for this lady just now. The yes. one Mama was speaking about, Sister in Pepper. Let us stand. Yes. Come. When you mentioned of a snake, on my left hand side, I mean my right hand side as I was sitting, my side shifted to scales of snake. And then that's when you mentioned that there is a snake that is affecting the lady. Now the lady, what happens is on her right hand uh, leg, there are some needles that come on that leg. So sometimes when she walks, she feels like there are needles coming from her leg, the right leg. Is, is true that what he's saying? Yes, Daddy. Eh? Yes. Yes. So, our brother. Daddy. We are not talking history. Yes, sir. You go back. You are talking history. You are talking about when I was praying for her. Yes, sir. I said, go on to show you something. If not, you prophesy people, things will never happen. You see vision, this, because this thing has been happening to many people. Yes, you understand? Yes, and it's also happening to you. Yes, so, walk. Leave that lady, you sit down with your needles. Stop there. Yes. That's where you see something when you're there. What do you see? I'm seeing a birth certificate with my name. Yes, yes. But I'm seeing you and Mama signing that you owe. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you must never forget we prayed for you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because I want to tell you. Yes, daddy. I want to tell you, you. Yes, sir. You are going to be known, but you will forget. And these visions will go, come back to zero. And now, God said, I must warn you. Yes, sir. You hear me? Yes, daddy. And this thing will start by invitations. You hear me? Don't accept any invitation. They have started already. I'm, I'm declining uh -huh. them. They have started already. I'm declining. So I say to my wife, I cannot do this before the blessing of my father, of which I want to submit my church, my family, my children under the grace of charity. Because of what you saw? Or yes, because sir. of what you heard when you were home? No, no, no. Uh -huh. Both of what I saw now. What you saw now? Yes, sir. Yeah, that you are my son. Yes, sir. God said, I must tell you, yes, sir. is your God. This God of charity is your God. Amen. He wants to make you an example like other people. Amen. As he's raising others here, he has raised you. God bless you. Amen. I receive Ah, you know, uh, because after he was prayed for, I heard he will have invitations, this man. But he must not accept any. Are you hearing me what I'm trying to tell you? Don't accept any invitation. Yes, sir. Eh? They are even calling Zambia, Canada. I... 
Hey, I don't care it about is that. too early for you. Yes, you sir. are still very young. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Don't accept any invitation now. Yes, daddy. I will tell you. Yeah? Yes, Papa. I will tell you. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Because that brother, he sees something when he's sitting there. Come back. Give him the mic. We hear. Uh, this thing is interesting. Kurikin Nati Sharo. When he was speaking with that one, what was happening? Uh, still the grace of estates, like, like properties, is still going to come from a lot of people. But I saw the light of God shining on that part more. I saw the light of God shining there. Uh, I saw mansions. I saw other people owning estates. In, there is an eye of Africa. Eye of Africa. Eye of Africa. That's one of the expensive estates I'm hearing in South Africa. The grace is there for mansions that side, sir. Is there? Yes, daddy. Why is not here? I mean, because, look here, you, you cannot look at the grace there when you are here. You must also bring it here and say, Lord. Because the Bible says the spirit of a prophet is subject to what? To the prophets. When you are seeing it there, you ask God, why am I not seeing it here? You understand? And from there, God will tell you that there's this one. You understand? Yes, Can you stand up, sister? This lady. This lady. This lady is crying. Yeah, it's true also. Huh? Yes, same thing from there. Okay, yeah? Same, same grace from there. It is locating her. She's crying, this woman. Yes, but I don't know if with your permission, sir, I will speak. No, carry on talking. But there is a lady standing behind her who does not want progress upon her life. Uh -huh. But I'm hearing a name, but I'm not going to mention the name. Uh, we don't work like that. Yes, sir. You mention the name. <laughs> yeah, you don't hear name. You say, you, I won't mention it. How are we going to know you are speaking the truth? All right. But now this lady, what she has done on your legs, on your feet, your feet are binded together. And there is a goat that I saw that was released with your name. So whenever it goes on top of a, of a, a rock, if it just goes mad, things start to try in your life. We'll pray for your husband. You understand? Uh, because this issue of marriage, you understand? It's a problem to you. Uh, this lady is crying because of marriage. Uh, it's not true. Huh? Come here. Let's leave the issue of the goat and what, what, what. You... You will tell her about this issue of goat and what next time I will call you. You minister to her presently here. She's worried about marriage. Uh, so she's free. But, uh, because if you focus on the issue of what these people are doing to her, you confuse this woman. You understand? And here she knows the problem here that brought her here. Yes, sir. Is a Mary, you understand? Yes, daddy. But you, you are going so deep. That's what I said to you. You don't need to go there. Yes, sir. I tell you, are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Tendo, you hear what I'm saying? You people here, yeah. Uh, if you can ask Prophet, and uh, he knows what I'm talking about. Because when I say say it, don't say I'm hearing a name, but I won't say it. It's very dangerous. Yes, sir. Because that person will demand to know the name. We will take it further. And here you are, you see that? Your screen, you are talking about someone's it's a wish. Uh, now, we don't talk many, many things when you prophesy. Yes, sir. Just say you're going to have a pig. Yes, sir. I pray for you. What, the prayer will complete what you are saying. Amen. God bless you. You heard, Mama? You are free today. God Amen. bless you. I'm just trying to speak with him because he's a prophet. Speak with Terry the same way. Tendo, Prophet Emmanuel, he knows. Prophet Korombi, they are here. We've got many prophets here today. So, and Bishop also, she's here. So, you people here, you heard. You don't mention anybody's name. It goes far. Because this lady... 
We don't even know eh, whether you are from. Where do you come from? Which side are you coming from? You. Where do you come from? Original, where I come from, Papa yes. Zella. Yeah, where do you come from? And I married at Shukukwan. Eh? I married at Shukukwan, but I'm from Papa Zella. Yes. Because the reason why you see me, I'm still standing. We don't condemn witches. You understand? Because witches, if we call them, this witch is Maria. The Bible says our fight is not flesh and what? And by blood. So if we tell my sister, uh, the people who's witching her, what, what we do in spirit, we can remove the person without telling her. You understand? I'm sure you heard, Terry. You heard what I'm saying. Yes, we normally, you pastors, you're hearing. Come to my sister, we pray for her according to the problem she's facing. But deep down, we remove the thing that Satan is using. If God says we must say it, it means there's judgment. That person is supposed to die. If we say it. So presently, the person can take this woman to court. Can take this woman to court and say, You, you know, what, 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 what. That's why I say, Say it. After you say it, you will know that it's wrong to say it. Because you're not supposed to say, There's someone, but I won't tell you. Can you see that? So, sister, uh, that prophecy was giving you is a true prophecy. But it's not for now. You understand? It's not for now. Uh, go fight for it. God bless you. It's like God wants to bring back what he has started 20, 2015. Can you see that, Mama? Yeah. And bring all my children, my sons, these people here. They start to prophesy. I want to see that boy because of what he saw. Greetings, viewers all over the world. Uh, my name is Apostle Gabriel. Uh, I came to Charis um, at the beginning of this year. Um, I believe that um, as I was coming here, there was already something that was prepared for me by God, by the grace of Charis. Uh, to take you a little bit backwards, I was located on my midweek service by the Apostle. He called me out and said, you want God to use you? And he prayed for me, uh, touched my ears, I felt a pop in my ears, he touched my eyes, my eyes started to see in the realm of the spirit. Now, to fast forward to the, uh, today's service, I was sitting there uh, in the, with the congregation. Uh, the apostle then uh, called me out and then said, as I'm pointing that side, I see light. That brother there wearing a blue shirt, stand up. When I stood up, uh, uh, he said, I've prayed for you before. I then confirmed to say, yes, it is true. You have prayed for me before. And then he says, now you can see, right? I confirmed, yes, to be true, that now in the, in the spirit I can see by the grace of God. He then says, no, walk here. And as I was walking on, um, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the front of the, the, the pulpit in front of him, he mentioned that I want God to show you something. I want God to show you what it's really uh, 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 supposed to be seen now. Uh, he made me to walk. I walked. Uh, down this side to all the way back to where I was and then he said walk back again and then he said stop where you are he said what do you see in that moment uh, God had revealed something about a lady that he had ministered to so in other words I was just saying okay this is what I actually heard it is actually true I, I'm, I'm hearing what our father actually heard or saw he then said no I'm not looking for that one walk again I walked backwards and then I walked back up front again he said stop right there and then he says to me now tell us what do you see in the realm of the spirit i immediately saw a piece of paper to be precise i saw the 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 the, 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 the diagonal part of the piece of paper it was written adoption certificate adoption certificate and it had all my details all my full names and then below i saw daddy and mommy uh, in in the lord they, they were signing that birth certificate immediately when i said i saw you signing this certificate i felt under the anointing i was so 
pushed by the anointing. Why am I saying this? It is because I have been praying for a very long time. I have been asking God to give me a spiritual parents, spiritual guardians who can actually mentor me and drive me towards the goal of what? Of ministering, of being a pioneer of what? Of the gospel. So all my years since I've been following up on the works of God, I have not been getting the opportunity to be called a son. This is my first time ever I started following the journey of my, my calling uh, to be called a son in the house, to be uh, recognized as a son and, and to be announced as a son. It is my first time and of which this, what happened today, it is not by any chance. It is not by, uh, uh, by circumstance. It is not by, by the free will of men. It is ordainly coming from heaven. So what the man of God say to me today, uh, he says, listen, uh, son, do not be fooled. Whatever you have gotten, this grace of seeing in the realm of the spirit, hearing in the realm of the spirit, it is the grace of charis. It is the grace of charis. Why was he saying so? It is because he had advised me before on my first encounter with him when he was praying for me. He says to me, I'm seeing your church in Kempton Park. I confirmed to be true. He then said, I see problems with that church coming. Uh, you need to go back because I hear Jemistin. Oh man, oh man, it did not even take a week. I mean, already where we were, they were already telling us that we are making noise. They do not want our church anymore because we are making noise. Tenants are complaining that our church is making noise. So that uh, week he prophesied me. The manifestation of that prophecy, it only stayed one week. During that course of the week, we could not have our Saturday services. Why? Because already a complaint had already been lodged. Now, he says to me, uh, um, I want you to go back to Jemistin. Go back to where you started because that's where we actually started our ministry. So what am I, why am I giving you this recap? I'm giving you this recap to understand that this is not a, a, a fallacy or this is not something that he read from a tabloid. This is not something that he googled about me. The man doesn't know me. The man has never heard of me. But he was precise about what I was desiring. He was precise of what was happening in my life. So I want to thank the man of God and I would like to thank the, the, uh, the, um, the woman of God, our mother in the house and the grace upon this house. For he says to me, listen, do not take any invite so far do not take any invite from any man of god i want you to be what to be reserved do not take any invite i then take it to account to say that i've been getting invitations back home in botswana there are some brothers who are inviting to say please come next year let us do something so my father in the lord is now saying please for now no more invites so this is an advice to every young pastor growing every young servant of god growing if your spiritual parent gives you guardians, he gives you a, a, a direction, your father is not jealous of you. Your parent is not jealous of you. Uh, what am I saying? Your own parent cannot give birth to you to be jealous to you. No. So he gives us this direction so that we may learn. They have passed through. They don't want us to go through. So I urge you everywhere, woman of God, servant of God, when you get a spiritual guidance from your spiritual parent, please take it into consideration. Do not look down upon them. Whether they are old, they are younger than you, whatsoever, you are more anointed than them. Please, God loves those that he disciplines god disciplines those that he loves so i pray that uh, uh, this word that i was given it will stay and multi uh, uh, manifest in my life today and forevermore thank you so much viewers and be blessed importance of having a spiritual father we are not taught so much in the churches that we've been to or whatsoever we were not given the real reason why you need or why there must be an, a spiritual parent a spiritual parent it is a, a, a more like an ambassador for you who speaks on your behalf in matters that are urgent in matters that are critical a spiritual parent is the one who watches over your upgrowing in the in the in the what in the things of god your spiritual parent is the one who shows you the the, the direction in the realms of the spirit that are going to manifest in the physical the importance of a spiritual parent that i can advise you or that i can share to you is this a parent 
of the spirit is the one who gives you spiritual guidance is the one who gives you spiritual direction whereby we are led by the spirit as the bible says we are led by the spirit we must live by the spirit these are spiritual beings that are already seeing what the things of the spirit so it is important that one must have a spiritual parent so that everything that is around you it is exposed remember you alone can just walk 5,000 steps but with a spiritual parent who has walked those 5,000 steps he can multiply them to 50,000 steps to 50 billion steps meaning he is opening an avenue for you so the importance of a spiritual parent it is to open avenues to do negotiations for you there are some deals there are some things that are of the spirit that do not need you but they need a spiritual parent to do as an executive uh, decision an executive executive what a, a negotiation for you because some things in the realm of the spirit they don't need us because God feels somehow about us but when a parent appears God tends to say okay I see this uh, 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 parent is pleading for the child let this door be open so so far according to me a spiritual parent is what is an ambassador is a go-between is a middleman for me in the spiritual realm to show me the ropes around the things of the spirit